today we're going to be making some tessellations. What are tessellations? Tessellations are the exact same shape that fit together into another shape, like a triangle, square, or rectangle. Today we're going to be using pen and pasta to fit together onto this piece of paper to make our own tessellation. For this project, you're going to need pen and pasta or gum sticks, paper that's sturdy, glue, and optional, you can paint your pen and pasta after it's, on, after it's on the paper with paint, paintbrush, water, and a pack. Let's get started. For this part, you're going to need your heavy paper, your glue, and your pasta. What you're going to do is you're going to take your pasta and you're going to turn it sideways so each is pointing either direction and you have the hole pointing forward and back. This is important so that you can make the tessellation. You're going to put your glue on one side of that and you're going to place it in the corner of your paper, just like this. Like that. And then you're going to take another piece that is the same size and put it on the opposite side. That way they should fit together on the corner just like that. Now you're going to do the same thing pointing like an arrow. Put it on one side, glue it down, and then put it on the other side and glue it down. Okay, when they're together they look like an arrow and they look like that. Now you're just going to do that all the way across your paper until you can't do it anymore and then do it with another arrow so that your whole paper is covered in this pen pasta. I'll see you when mine is done. Now that I have finished my tessellation, it looks like this. And yours should look some like, somewhat like this too. Uh, it's okay if it comes off of the paper, that's what makes it so pretty. As you can notice, there's arrows and they're pointing either direction. Uh, you want to make sure that happens so it looks like a tessellation. This is an optional part, but you can paint it. But first you want to make sure your tessellation is dry. You may need to wait overnight. To paint it, you're just going to take some paint, acrylic paint, and you're just going to paint either each noodle, each stripe, or you can paint the whole thing. So I'm just going to paint this stripe right here with pink. And then it will look very nice and pretty once it's all done. And it's nice if you pick colors that go together. And if you do a pattern, it will look especially cool because the tessellation is already a pattern also. Okay, and that's what a painted stripe looks like. And I'll show you the rest of it when I'm done. Now that I'm done painting and I've let everything dry, I'm done with my masterpiece. In this video, you learned about tessellations and what they are, and you learn how to make your own out of pasta. You can even hang this in your room if you want. Thanks for watching, little math proficients, and bye!